I know I haven't done a video in a while but nothing really has changed in terms of my aquariums anyway so what I'm going to show you today is how I have improved the growth of my crypto currents or crypts as most people call them so there's many different species of crypts I'm not sure what all the different species are or, or anything like that but I've just bought quite a few different species just mixed crypts really I think that's what they're labeled at um, just mixed crypts so you get all different varieties different shaped leaves and what I did was yeah I just bought quite a few I think six different bunches and I split those bunches up as well so I got about 10 different uh, plants all together and I spaced them around and I thought if I'm putting all these crypts in if I've paid for all these plants I, you know obviously I don't want them to die and I've had crypts in the past before and they always seem to die off whether it's uh, in a week or in a month they eventually just melt you know just disintegrate and die off so I did some research and a lot of people were saying that improved water flow will really help with the growth of crypts they like a lot of water flow um, so I thought that's, that may be the issue I'm having because I've got quite a big tank it's 300 litres it's 4 foot wide 2 foot high and I've only got a Fluval 406 running and the 406 is, is a nice filter it's really good but in terms of water flow I don't think it's enough the flow really needs to get around the tank around all the all the corners I don't really want any dead spots and I've never really thought about how much water flow I need in the tank before but I really wanted these crypts and I really wanted them to work so and the reason that good water flow in a planted tank is so important is because it pumps the nutrients and fertilizers around the tank so for instance I have an auto dosing system on here that little tube there auto doses liquid fertilizers and the water flow just ensures that that fertilizer and the nutrients in the water are pumped all the way around the tank ensuring that all the plants get the nutrients available to them so it seemed like increased water flow was the way to go and I thought I'd give it a try I'd buy Crips again and and I'd get a wave maker um, so a wave maker is just a pump in the aquarium that just pushes the water it doesn't do any filtration it just pushes the water around and a lot of reef keepers or marine tank keepers use these wave makers they have several sometimes because it's really important for flow so I thought I'd do the same I thought I'd buy one and after a lot of research because I was going to buy a Fluval one because I really like Fluval I like them as, as a brand I like all their products but instead I opted for a high door Corellia and the main reason for this is because of the reviews really on like Amazon everyone was saying it's, it's the most quiet wave maker doesn't make much of a noise because I think um, a lot of the issues people have with wave makers are the humming like vibrations on the glass because they they stick to the glass and then you have a magnet on the other side that keeps it in place and I think a lot of people complain about the humming noise and the reviews for the high door Corellia is really good I'll leave a link in the description an Amazon link so you can check it out but this wave maker is I think 3200 litres per hour and it was about 40 pounds and it's perfect for this size tank so if you've got a, a four foot tank 
roughly 300 litres, the 3200 litre per hour um, wave maker is really good. As you can see, it really pushes the water across the surface and it really gets to one end of the tank and then pushes the water back to the other end so you get a whole water flow going from both sides of the tank really. So it's really good, um, does exactly what I want it to do. And I've already seen results from this because basically when you buy crypts most of the time you put them in and they start losing their leaves, the leaves start melting which is normal and then the new leaves grow through and that means you know the plant's been transitioned and and that's what happens but with mine my crypts none of the leaves have really melted away I've had them for several weeks now so maybe they still will eventually but so far the plants have stayed in really good condition which I didn't expect and I really do put it down to this increased water flow because I've never had crypts that have done this well before and the, one of the main reasons I wanted the crypts is because they're really good for foreground plants they're quite bushy they stay low and they really hide all the root systems and all the stems of the plants in the back so they're really good foreground plants and some, some of them can get really big which is great I really like the look of um, crypts so now that I've got this wave maker in place I'm really hoping that these crypts stay alive and really grow I'd really like to have some real big bushy crypts to fill out the tank the only real downside is if you have tall plants like I do like vallis that you know go from bottom to top then the increased water flow will blow them around quite a lot so you've got to really position the wave maker to where you want it so that the plants stay where they're supposed to be because before the wave maker my valleys just pretty much just grew straight upwards and stayed there because the fluval 406 filter wasn't really pushing them out the way and then I've installed this wave maker and the valleys, some of it goes everywhere so the wave maker keeps some of the plants in line where they were before you know blows them from the left to the right but the valleys on the right hand side of the tank just <laughs> blows in like crazy directions because the water flow goes through the valleys, hits the back of the tank and comes back and it pushes the valleys in the opposite direction so you have to fiddle with the direction of the wave maker to make sure that the plants aren't blowing around everywhere that's not really an issue, it's kind of a good thing that it's pushing the plants and it's pushing the water around the tank because as you can see in this aquarium now all my plants are just slightly swaying, all the ones on the bottom um, and all the ones at the back and in the corners all the leaves are just only just slightly moving around and that's because the wave makers being able to push this water all the way around the tank because before with the canister filter outlet it will just push the water across the top and the flow kind of fades out as it hits the other side which is normal but there's no way that that flow gets pushed to the bottom of the tank and all around the other plants so I think a lot of my plants have suffered because there's just been no flow across the bottom or within within the thick plants that I have so this wave maker's doing a pretty good job I think yeah it's really nice so I advise anyone who's maybe struggling with the plants or getting a little bit of algae on the leaves or doesn't see much movement in the leaves indicating that there's no real water flow passing through those leaves to maybe try 
getting a wave maker. The the Hydor Corellia seems to be really well made and a really good wave maker. So that's the story with my cribs. They're doing really well now and the fish don't mind. If they swim too close they get blown around a bit but they don't really mind. It hasn't really affected them. Yeah. So I know I haven't done a video in a while. And you know, I just don't really want to make random videos about things just for the sake of making a video. So when I have something to talk about, I'll create a video as and when. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll try and make some more soon. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.